If the terror attacks in Paris were aimed at intimidating France, they appear to work. A state of emergency has been approved in order to give sweeping powers to the police. Border controls will be implemented and reforms to the constitution will be considered next week. Press TV's Ramin Mazaheri has more from Paris. All public demonstrations are banned in France due to the newly installed state of emergency, but more than a thousand committed activists gathered at the iconic Place de la Bastille. The assembly was in support of refugees, as many fear that the government will use the recent terror attacks to justify their continual mistreatment of asylum seekers. But from the beginning, demonstrators were shouting their discontent with the government's reactionary decisions. The three-month state of emergency permits warrantless searches, grants sweeping arrest powers, and more. Protesters decided to ignore police demands to stay in one location and began marching. Police set up a barricade to block protesters from advancing, beating some protesters with their batons and firing tear gas in people's faces. But police could not hold the line because some brave activists kept breaking through the barrier, risking injury and likely arrest. Eventually, so many got through that the crowd was inspired to join them and the police repression failed. The right of demonstration is a fundamental right in France. The French Revolution, uh, we do, uh, we, we take the Bastille. <laughs> in order to prevent police from setting up more blockades, demonstrators marched quickly to Place de la République, chanting pro-refugee and anti-government slogans. There is not one jihadist among the refugees. These are innocent people who are fleeing war and mass killings. They come to Europe seeking protection, but Europe won't even provide shelter. Prime Minister Manuel Valls and the National Front's Marine Le Pen have the same racist ideas and policies. We are here now and we will continue to demonstrate. Perhaps this is the spirit that France needs to recapture. Defiance towards a deeply unpopular government, which hasn't hesitated to restrict civil liberties at home, and which has pursued policies abroad against the interests of their own people. Ramin Mazahari, Press TV, Paris.